Hey, what's up everyone? We're back from a little this brief hiatus with a quadruple header. League. First up, EuroLeague, Bill Bow, my old squad from FIFA 14, so, uh, come to the San Siro to take on AC Milan. Uh, take a look at the standings, one and two in the uh, top of the table, one and one for us. Two draws for Bill Bow. Um, let's see. We, we've been rotating our squad a little bit, but we got a lot of good players in there. There's, there's uh, Mkhitaryan, um, Churchy's in there. He's been our center forward that we kind of play for all cup and European matches. Um, Hakan is in there. Niang is out wide. We'll, we'll take a look at the starting lineup in a sec, but we've got a pretty, pretty strong lineup as we kind of want to wrap this up early. Um, we did rotate the keeper, so Agassi's in there for Diego Lopez. But Werner comes in on the left hand side. De Jong, uh, Ricardo Eli, Zuma, Abate, and then Goreca, who is our left back that we picked up in the summer. Just a cheap left back, someone to fill in. Um, we'll see how he goes. But here's the Bilbao 11 with uh, Figuera, Iba Gomez, and Iñaki, Taraspe, Benyat, Seta, DeMarcos. Laporte, who we tried to get in a in the summertime and maybe even at the end of last year, so they've got a you know they've got some good players. Um, they kind of they in the Champions League in 15 or 2014, 2015, and then for that small squad, they kind of just flamed out a little bit last year. Just didn't have the legs to kind of carry it to them, and they they just dropped down to like seventh or eighth. But you know we'll we'll get it started. Um, second minute, Mkhitaryan finds Werner. Werner uses his pace to get around DeMarco, so DeMarco is pretty quick, but his shot is right at the keeper. Seventh minute, we do win a header. We do win a free kick. Niang with the header. He's got good size and just puts it a little wide. Should have been doing better, at least on target. Near post would have been tough. The keeper is in good position, but, you know, we're, we're sending some shots home early. As you see, Niang turns the corner, cuts it back, finds Churchy. Churchy's shot is deflected. And another shot from Werner is deflected to find Churchy, who just puts it into the back of the net. Ninth minute, Milan leads 1-0. Just very, a little fortunate with some of the bounces, but when you put yourself in good positions, like Churchy always does, he always seems to be in the right place at the right time. You know, that's no coincidence. That's just very sound positional awareness. Puts it into the back of the net, and, you know, you, you let the visitors know that we mean business, but Benyat plays in Inyaki, 14th minute, as they look to respond, but his shot is directly at Agassi. So, you know, a little warning sign saying, hey, we're still in this match from Bilbao, but Werner plays in Mkhitaryan. The ball was a little bit behind him, and his shot does pretty well to dig it out. A um, little bit of a loose ball, but 45th minute stoppage time right before halftime. They play a pass into Ebai. Ebai crosses it in, and Zuma, oh, off the line. Could have been a disaster, a catastrophe, but Ellie clears it off the line, and Mint Munayin is on in the second half. A text day, a text day. One of my young players that I that I brought up in 14, uh, pretty good, not not nothing great, but finds some space here in the box, and he just beats Agassi. Nothing much Agassi can really do with that one. Just great placement by the Basque center attacking mid as you take a look this hit off the post so you know nothing I said nothing he could do really fault the defense there as they just let him in but 61st minute Vigera on the attack finds Ebai and Ebai's shot uh, left footed kind of put him off a little bit normally most guys see a right footed guy like Ebai is would have opened up his body and kind of shot to that far post but this time you take a look just good passing he goes and just kind of shocks him a little bit, gets, gets does a good job of getting his feet set, strikes through the ball, and just beats Agatsi near post. 2-1 lead, so, I mean, we, we kind of had this one controlled for a while, uh, one nothing, but unfortunately, as we get another chance with Churchy, but his shot is blocked and cleared, uh, you know, we kind of find ourselves behind the back burner, looking for, trying to stave off our first loss of the season, but as you see, Hakan picked up an injury and his shot off the post. Both sides with the shades off in the yang to the keeper, and just like that, we lose the first match of the year at home. Two goals to one, as you see Laporte cheering on the traveling Bilbao fans. Um, by Gomez, one shot, one goal. So I mean, I don't know if we really, if I thought we really outplayed them. Uh, thought it was pretty even for the most part. 
but you know they, they took the most of their opportunities where we did so the Khan hit that double shot off the post late uh, and even though we got off to a, a 1-0 start early as you see everything was pretty much even except for possession which you know we kind of play on the counter attack anyways a little bit we'll, we'll give up possession but um, as you can see that you know no real real standout performers maybe Churchy but you know, never, never good to get a loss this early in the Euro League. You know, hopefully I was, I was trying to wrap everything up so I could rotate the post, play the youngsters, and then just you know get some some important rest time to, to kind of rest our legs up. But if you take a look at the scouting report, and as you can see, it's just garbage. I mean, there's a couple of players in there that we kind of scouted for longer than one month, but you know, it, it, it's been a little, it's been very dry. You see, Khan is out for three weeks with his ankle, but um. You know, it's been a little, like I said, it's been a little, uh, um, look at that bullshit. 23rd and then on the 25th. So a match two days as we, we extend Ruben Neves, but two matches in three days, I mean, it, that would never happen in, in real life. I mean, they definitely, maybe in the, in the English Premier League, but not in Serie A. Um, as we jump right back into it, but you know, we're gonna have to rotate the squad definitely to kind of make the most of it. We're already down a few close with injuries. Hakan being out through his right ankle definitely doesn't help, but you know, we've, we've, we've got some little bit of depth. As you see, we do sit in first place, haven't lost in the league yet. 13 goal difference, 19 points, only one draw. So we're, we're sitting pretty, you know, we, we definitely, you know, we, we've got a little room for error early on, but. Fiorentina is one of the sides that is equal to four, second in the league, so they're capable of scoring, especially uh, Rossi, the New Jersey-born Italian, um, kind of burned us, I think, the first year, I think he two goals as we played him, I think, three times that first year, one in the cup, and then two in the league, so um, we'll take a look at their starting lineup, and he's definitely, he's up top, uh, probably trying to get in behind, there's Borja Valero, the ex Real man, Matias Suarez, Jefferson, so they've, they've got some, they've got some good players. Uh, always love their kits, La Viola. How can you not like the purple? But take a look at our lineup. You know, we're kind of, we're kind of back to full strength. Uh, minus Ro McNally being hurt, but Nevis steps in. Bertolacci, Baca, El Shawari, Suso, Holy's in there. So you know, we, we've got, I said, we've got the players. We just need, you know, we just need to go out and just, just. Get this result, Gustavo, Apollonia, the match official for short today. Love the, love the names. And I, I, it is a nice little touch how they have uh, a lot of homegrown reps in the various leagues. But Fiorentina, Rossi, that man, starting early, good turn, shoots from distance, brings out a good save from Diego Lopez who carries it wide. But just like that, 39th minute, we're back in it. Ball falls. Right to Bertolacci, but Tomovic does a good job of sticking his foot out and getting a piece of it. Second half, 50th minute. This one, you know, kind of tight. Didn't have that many chances, but, you know, we're back. Uh, the man on form does a good job of getting by his keeper and just, oh, good save by Borja Valero as the rebound almost fell to Bertolacci, who all he had to do was pretty much side foot into the back of the net as their keeper was kind of out a little bit. But Zuma pushing forward a little bit. Doesn't do that very often. It's actually. Pretty poor with the ball at his feet, but Suso, oh, didn't go for power or placement, just went directly for power, smashed it right at the keeper, and the young Spanish under-21 international, just take another look, just all those left-footed touches, just left foot, left foot, bang, gets his first goal of the Serie A campaign, and he's one of those, one of those players that's on the fringe, he's definitely great, really good dribbler. A little weak. He works hard a little bit, um, but we definitely we like to keep him inside. As El Shawari cuts it inside, plays it off the backa, but back is oh another <laughs> cheeky play to Verdi, and Verdi's shot is blocked right to El Shawari, and he puts it over the net. We had a great opportunity to kind of put this one away before stoppage time, but luckily the defense held strong, kept the clean sheet away at the Artemio Franchi. Um, as you see, one nothing. You know, grinding it out, kind of a result that we would have. Expected last year. This year we were expecting a little bit more goals, but you know what? One nothing versus a team, you know, mid-table team, upper mid-table team like Fiorentina. You know, we'll definitely take it. Uh, let's take a look at just some of the, the replays um, that they generate. They FIFA does a great job this year with the replays, especially how they cut in the uh, they they 
cut out the music or, or fade the music down and they cut in the actual live commentary that was going on. As you see, Zapata, man of the match, 7.6 rating. Um, shots were even, 5 and 3. Um, 5 shots, 3 on target apiece. So, right back into it on the road again. Brazil is Verona. Uh, you know, another tricky match is, is it's just two days after that Fiorentina match. So, you know, we, we might have some tired legs out there. Definitely going to have to rotate the squad. Um, not too many familiar names for Verona. Maybe Pazzini, who's kind of bounced around a little bit. But, you know, 4-3, 1-2 with a deep holding mid. You know, so a little bit, um, a little bit like ours, but, you know, so we'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, we go with, we, we do go with 3-0 wide, but Oscar Berardi comes back in. Um, Khan is back from the sprained ankle. He's only out for three days. Take a look at the best defensive team. Goals against only seven given up. Um, hopefully, it's not a little foreshadowing to come, but uh, you know, we start out early, 16th minute. Our Mikatarian gets in and for some reason decided to put it on his weaker left foot, try to directly at the keeper. But you know, we're pressing, we're doing a good job of getting forward. Back it is the same thing, just a tame effort for someone who's got a pretty good shot power. Uh, it's just, just a very tame shot, but this time it's Berardi, second half. Great cutback, shot on goal with the right foot, and look who's there to pick up the pieces. Got to pick up the pieces is Hakan, and that man has just been on a goal scoring, just just a mission this year. You know, last year was a little bit disappointing when we got him. You know, didn't really get uh, on the end of create a lot of chances or finish off a lot of chances, but this year he's just he's just stepped his game up. The, the Mesut Ertzel Jr. is what a lot of people call him, but better, better at free kicks. Just puts us in the lead, one nothing already. So, you know, just a great, great start for us. As you see, DeSiglio with a great block, kind of puts him off a little bit. And Belotti just puts the second effort wide to take a look. Had him, had Diego Lopez to beat. It's a tough shot to curl it from that tight of an angle and that close. You know, it takes a lot of skill. You probably want to shoot it low but Pazzini this time is in and the header look at that save from Diego Lopez I mean that's just a just natural instinctive just reaction type save as you take a look look at the power kind of just flails out a little bit look maybe doing his best David the head impersonation but Ezekiel trying to get in on the scoring and his shot is blocked and the rebound is just saved it was just there for taking Pizano puts it out of bounds and just like that another one nothing win so Two games in the league, two one nothing wins. Considering the tight fixture schedule and uh, and match congestion, we'll take that any day of the week. As you can see, look, Diego Lopez is pumped up and probably has the moment of the save of the game, moment of the game with that huge, huge near post save from Velotti's header. Um, so you know, on the road, two consecutive one nothing wins as we will probably have to just go home and, and we'll face a. Torino side that's given us a little bit of um, a, a little bit of trouble in the league. They are a rival of Milan, believe it or not. Um, I know they don't have the historic long-term success, but um, you know they they are. As you see, Diego Lopez, man of the match, definitely man of the match. And the keepers get him uh, the benefit of the doubt all the time because the saves jack up the ratings. But he, was, he warranted that that man of the match. But Take a look. We're at home. Uh, we do. We, we break out the change third kits. I love those green kits. I'm actually thinking about getting one in real life, although it'll pain me considering how much of a Chelsea supporter I am. But 5-3-2, Aqua in the middle, Bellotti, Lopez up top. So they're setting up to be very difficult to break down as we do a little bit of rotating. El Shawari, Baca, Suso comes in, Bertolacci, Neves, Poli, Zuma, Zapata, Siglio, Abate, and of course the Manning goal, Diego Lopez. Let's take a look. Two consecutive one nothing wins. We won't do very much, but we're for your your goals for average or total. But we're still top when it comes to that. So we're we're happy. And at the end of the day, three points is all that matters. I don't care how we do it, but as long as we win. Bertolacci, his shot deflected in the in the box looked to be like a little bit of a handball, but you know the guy didn't know too much about it. So the ref, ref, I'm assuming the ref didn't call it, but. Diego Lopez with another great save, but the ref points to the spot as we take a look. Oh, Abate wearing the captain's armband. We kind of switch him up, captain's armband a lot, but oh, just terrible. He was going for the ball, eyes on the ball, hits the guy backs into him, and they award the penalty. 
<gasps> Maxi Lopez steps up from the spot. And we'll see what Diego Lopez can do. Oh, and he just cheeky, cheekily chips the keeper. A little bit of Andre Pirlo. Not the only one that can do it, but got to strike back. Got to respond as Suso gets in on goal. And oh, his shot tries to curve it a little bit, but ended up putting too much power on it. And it goes wide. Should have been 1-1 one, one as Torino wins a corner in the 35th minute, 36th minute. They play it short. Aqua, who was once a target for us, uh, finds Maxi, and Maxi misses his brace by hitting the near post. And just Torino, you know, they're they're on the front foot a little bit, but 72nd minute. Suso, some more dancing in the box, and again, he sh got shot. This one, this one a little bit better on target. Brings out a good save from the keeper. And just like that, we, we get our first loss of the season uh, in Torino. I think I said earlier that we were at home, but no, we actually three straight road games for us. Uh, you know, we, we kind of struggled a little bit in this episode to score goals. I think we, we only got three goals in four matches. You know, fortunately, we did get six points out of nine in the league. Never never good to lose, especially lose your first of the year. But, you know, it, it's it's not the end of the world. We'll, we'll have to respond and we'll have to, to make a push. I think we're up in the Europa League next, maybe some Brazilian friendlies. But... You know, it's, it's 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 a work in progress still. As you see, we had seven shots on target. Uh, back up, a little bit of a goalless drought. Usually we don't go an episode without him scoring, but we'll get back at it. And, you know, appreciate you guys joining and, and following. As always, see you next time.